Hey, it's Jared. Today I wanted to talk about scheduling and productivity and how we use our calendar. Now, I've been using an app called Woven for the last several months. Actually, it's probably been closer to almost this whole year. And what I like about Woven that other applications don't provide is a feature set that is outside of the box. Typically, there are features that if we want for our calendar, we have to pay for them outside using different services. And Woven has brought together the ones that make the most sense to provide an excellent scheduling assistant that uh, really does tackle a lot of the common frustrations that most of us have with trying to navigate uh, doing life and connecting with others using a standard calendar app like Google Calendar or even the calendar on our iPhone. So there are some neat features that I use all of the time and some features that I haven't yet implemented into my life yet. So we're gonna start with just basically what Woven is and I'm gonna show you how I utilize Woven to save myself and other people a ton of time when it comes to scheduling time to meet with me. So the first is just having an easy dashboard here that shows me what's up next and it gives me action steps to make it to that next event. So for example, I'm looking at uh, my son's upcoming soccer game because I'm filming this on a Friday and tomorrow's the weekend. And I can easily get directions, get a ride or send an email or even join a call. Of course, that doesn't make sense for this entry. But for a lot of the meetings that I set using the Woven app, I either need to call the person or I need to join in on a, a conference call or, or something like that, a Zoom session or whatnot. And so this app makes it very easy for me to get to those when it comes time for that appointment. It also gives me a quick look at my week, showing me the different breakdown of events that I have uh, uh, based on what they are. So how many hours am I gonna be in video calls this week and stuff, it kind of gives me a breakdown. And I think this is nice and it's an area that I wanna use more because I can make sure that I'm breaking up my week and not being too heavy in one area. Like I don't wanna be in too many meetings and not have enough time for other areas of my life so I can make sure to break up uh, this. And there's also tabs for all working hours and then non-working hours. Um, and this is using a tagging system. The tagging system I wanna get better at using. If I scroll down to the bottom, there's recent updates, and this is recent updates to the calendar. So did somebody say accept or decline on an invitation, or did somebody schedule an invitation uh, to the calendar? Uh, what's gone on in the activity feed of our calendar? That's a really neat thing to get to see there. Now, before I hit the magical orange plus button down in the bottom right hand corner, we're just gonna quickly look through the rest of the app. Here under the calendar, I can see my calendar day by day, or of course I can change it to weekly view or daily view. So three day daily view or weekly view. And then I can also go and look at scheduled travel on the map as well, which is an excellent feature. So what's nice about this is that it's more focused on what's coming up, not necessarily on the bigger picture of what does my month look like, this is focused on what's going on this week or within the next week, which I like being able to see that uh, and have it more focused in that area. The planning area of the app is fantastic. One of the features that makes Woven uh, really unique is the ability for people to schedule to your calendar. Instead of going back and forth with uh, calendar dates and times, what works for you, what works for me, no, I have a conflict, you can easily just give people access to your calendar to schedule. It doesn't mean they can see the rest of your calendar. All they can see is the availabilities that you have given them. So you can tell them, hey, click on this link. It's gonna show you what's available on my calendar and you could pick whatever works best for you. And then people can do that. And I've been scheduling like this all of this year and it has been a lifesaver, especially with COVID and everything and our schedules being crazy because we're maybe at home or things are just different. It makes it so much easier just to give people a link. And so I have shared links, I have public links, and then I have drafts for the planning phase of what is my schedule, what's available for people to book. We also have templates 
Templates are great because we have a lot of different types of meetings or activities, and so templates make it really easy. I get coffee with a lot of people, a lot less this year than normal, but I get coffee with a lot of people, and so I have a template for a 30-minute coffee session with someone. I have a 30-minute Zoom call session with someone. So all I have to do is apply this template and it's automatically gonna add in all of the information into the calendar that I normally would have had to type in manually. So let's go back to our home screen here. I'm gonna tap on that plus button and you can see I can create a new template. I can create a public scheduling link, a group poll, a one-time scheduling link, or just enter in a new event. Let's work our way down really fast. Adding a new template is essentially just creating a new template or creating a new event based on a template. A public scheduling link is a link that you could put out there to the public. So maybe you put this link in the um, signature of your email that's available for anybody to click on and schedule. They don't have to be invited to schedule. So this is where you would want to make sure that you have your uh, your parameters set so people can't just go wild scheduling uh, appointments at any time. A group poll is a great one for trying to get people together. So if you are trying to plan a, uh, a, a dinner date with a few other couples, you can send out this group poll. Everybody can choose what works for them and it narrows it down and it figures it out. It does all the magic and then you're ready and you have a date and it wasn't a bunch of back and forth between everybody, whether it be text messages or phone calls or emails, the group poll is great for organizing a group of people around a specific event. One time scheduling link is what I typically use the most because uh, I, I'll give a few options. So if I click on one time scheduling link, I can give a couple of uh, ideas here as far as times go. I can set up the name of the calendar event. I could even use one of the templates if I want. And then I send that over to the person as a link and then they can click on that link. They can choose from the dates and times that are available and it's just for them and it makes it very easy. Then it adds it to both of our calendars and we're good to go. So that's the beauty of this app is being able to do more than just use it like a standard calendar. The challenges of going back and forth and all the frustration that comes with trying to schedule time with someone or a group of someone's, this app solves all of those things. So whether you're using smart templates to set up uh, things that are, are uh, happen often, they're not reoccurring, but they happen often, smart templates definitely help with that. The scheduling links make it way easier easier for you to schedule things with specific people by giving them the opportunity to choose times that are already available for you cuts down on the back and forth. The availability sharing being part of that, either through the one-time link or having more of a public link that's opened up to everybody, having that availability that people can see on your calendar, knowing when you're available that cuts down on the back and forth. The group polls, of course, for organizing uh, larger amounts of people, definitely super useful. So right now, Woven is free uh, for your Mac, your PC, and your iPhone, and I think coming soon to Android. So you definitely want to download it and give it a try and see how it works in your life. I hope that my video here was enough of a tutorial to get you started. They also have some great uh, tutorials on their website as well. To get Woven, use the link that I have down in the description below. When we send uh, Woven to each other and invite each other, when they do start charging for the app, we'll have credits built up and all that good stuff. So I do appreciate you clicking on the link below. But I just wanted to share this fantastic app and how it's been uh, improving my workflow as far as scheduling and interacting with other people. So if you found this useful, definitely let me know down in the comment section below. Let me know what you've been using for scheduling. If it's not just a standard calendar app and you're using another tool, I'd love to hear about what you're using. So share that with me down in the comment section below or any other questions that you have. But that's going to do it for today. So take care and we'll see you back in the next video.